Hey everyone, this is Garrett, and welcome to another episode of my fitness vlog. Come join me. Hey everyone, so today I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an update of uh, what's going on with me today. So as you can tell, I'm outside. It is sunny, or at least I think that's what that that thing in the sky is and uh, it's actually kind of warm today so which has been a nice change of pace uh, I'm not, not expecting this to stay this way but uh, anyway so I kind of want to just get on to my workout real quick um, I kind of had some issues recording my uh, my first section uh, with my bench press and so I was able to get up to a 205 pound PR which I was really happy about. Um, however, because I there's some error with the the file when I tried to transfer it over, I was not able to actually capture it. So, kind of a bummer. But you know, I made 205 pounds, and I'm happy about that. So, after I'm done talking, I'll kind of just do a short like montage of uh, the rest of my workout. It's kind of a it was kind of a the same as I've been doing the other parts of the workout so uh, you kind of get to see some of that so anyways with this nice weather I'm definitely looking forward to um, doing some new things uh, stay tuned for more stuff that I can that uh, I'll be able to do outdoors really soon um, I've kind of enjoyed doing these kind of vlog type things so one of the things I wanted to talk about real quick was um, something that I've changed in my lifting. Um, I know in the past I've used um, lots of different gear for my lifting. Everything from weight belts to lifting shoes and knee sleeves and wrist grips and all kinds of stuff. So one of the things I decided to take out of my routine was my weight belt. And the reason being is I kind of felt that it was... I was using it as a crutch um, and so I wasn't allowing my personal core to strengthen like it needed to um, so what ended up happening was that um, I felt that some of my lifts weren't as effective as they could be um, one thing I did find was that when I started using knee sleeves and I had an episode where I kind of just talked about knee sleeves um, I noticed that I felt more stable. Uh, my back squats and everything else were a lot more consistent and I was a lot happier with how my squats were. Um, so we'll see um, if next time I try a PR on my uh, back squat, uh, whether I use the weight belt or not. I might use it just because it's so heavy. Um, but for my, I was up to about 280, 285. Uh, without using a weight belt and I felt just as strong as when I was using one. So one of the things that I was kind of happy about um, when last time I met with my coach is that he wants to start integrating some running into my uh, my workout routine which I am really happy about. You know I, I need to start training for the Tough Mudder and I need to start you know increasing my cardio and all that kind of stuff so um, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really also looking forward to seeing how that will kind of trim me out. Um, I know I've been losing a lot of body fat. Um, not a lot of pounds, but a lot of body fat. And I have noticed in some jobs and other things that I've done that running upstairs and things like that, I'm not getting any fatigue in my legs. So I'm really kind of interested to see how the running um, comes out and how it affects my overall performance. Um, I was able to make some pretty decent gains uh, today on doing pull-ups and doing um, my bar dips and other stuff so go ahead and make sure to keep an eye out for that and you can kind of see the improvement I made there. So anyways over to my workout.
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, just tap on the icon above me. If you want to check out more of my videos, just check out the links over here. Also, make sure to head over to Instagram and check out my channel there. See you in the next video.